Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood um, today, this morning. I'm kind of tired though. Um, but I just, these are some more thoughts, you know. Um, we know that God is love. And his love is who he is. It's who he is. God is love. You know, when you really like, if you could just reflect on that for a little while. Wow, like, that is who he is. Like, that is just who he is. Um, I... I have a little sign here. Uh, we, I think we got this last year. It says, let all that you do be done in love. Now, this was this is in 1 Corinthians 16. We know that the love of Christ through us does this through us. And it's he transforms our thoughts. He does. Um, I watched a, a video yesterday about renewing, you know, our thoughts or whatever and how it's God's thoughts now. But we do still have to renew the cruddy thoughts that we have from time to time. Really, day by day, I mean, it's a renewal each and every day. I mean, it's a mercy each and every day that we get to wake up to. And we're so thankful for that, you know. Um, but this world is chaotic. When you step out of the door, even before you step out of the door, if you even put your news on, which I don't watch the news for the most part, but every week there is something going on, you know, with the school system or the shootings or the the, the kidnapping or the this or the that and the rumors of wars and the wars and the, um, you know, that Joe Biden and he's not able to really like hold sentences as in, you know, then you start, it's like, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it can really affect you and your mood for the day, you know? Then in the meantime, you deal with, <laughs> sometimes some of us deal with people on a daily basis who are just so hard, right? They're just so hard. And, um, you know, it's easy to love the, uh, it's, it's really easy to love the easy people. It's really love. It's really easy to love the loving people who love you. It's really hard to wrap your minds and your brain around loving the hard person. Um, and sometimes that, that the God in us, Jesus in us, helps us along the way to slowly first of all forgive that person and see that person with the eyes of Christ whom died for that person and out of respect that person you know God has died for that person and so then it brings about a forgiveness through you and sometimes there's reconciliations and sometimes you can love from afar you have to. You can't be in that kind of toxicity around you all the time. Um, but sometimes you can't forgive that person for whatever reason for a long while, you know. Sorry, guys. I had to come outside. I had to switch rooms. <laughs> I'm on the porch. Speaking of porch, um, I'm in Second Chronicles. Man, I've read Second Chronicles um, before, first and second, but um, I'm reading it about Solomon, and it's reminding me, um, it's giving me, <laughs> first of all, I'm just like the Lord, God is expressed super big um, in when Solomon had was granted to build the temple, the, that huge temple, and his prayer was not to 
have great health or live long and this and that if you read it but it was to have wisdom and knowledge and since that prayer was wisdom and knowledge god granted him uh his you know health and long life and things like that but anyway it's just it's really <laughs> i'm as i'm reading it i'm like god's grace is magnified in this because you know we're in the we are in the household of god and he lives in us and we we are the temples of the holy like the holy spirit reigns in us all of our days you know can't leave nor forsake us but and then it's i'm reminded i love the porch i think everybody should have a porch <laughs> solomon's porch is mentioned in acts 5 that's what i'm reading and now is the book of acts and i'm just like father he won't leave me alone about solomon <clears throat> but okay so i'm getting off sidetrack but um sometimes forgiveness doesn't happen right away because whatever reason you know i mean i've been really mad before uh angry i think all of us have been you know and um then again the lord had to like work it out work it out of us but it always goes back to jesus and it always will and you know we're all in different places and we're all going through different things um, it's like I keep getting interrupted <laughs> oh my goodness my kids um but it will always go back to Jesus and he's the one that will take you through this journey step by step day by day hour by hour minute by minute by minute second by second and thank God for that because we couldn't do this on our own we couldn't just no way there's absolutely no way we could do this on our own uh, so I kind of wanted to read a little bit of scripture let me go get my Bible so my I put peace from God I think that's my uh, thing peace from God or peace with God sorry and um, I get that from Romans 5 because Romans 5 chapter 5 is one of my favorites uh, because we have peace we're in peace we have been drawn by the blood <clears throat> the his God shed blood but I wanted to read this quickly. It says, <clears throat> this is in Hebrews. This is the last chapter of Hebrews, Hebrews 13. But anyway, it says, um, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as, they, as that must give account that they may do it with joy there's that word joy again and not with the grief for that is unprofitable for you you know teaching the word of god going around and you know teaching the gospel and or preaching the gospel and um there has been many times that i've sat under the elder right the person that new scripture a little bit better um and i just sat there and listened and wrote notes and did my research and studied you know there was many times like that and so that's what that means it says pray for us for we trust we have a good conscience okay in all things willing to live honestly we have a, we're in good conscience now because god gives us a conscience of peace love joy all of the fruit of the spirit so you know of course these bad thoughts come into us but it's a renewal like I said a day-by-day -day renewal every single morning that you wake up it's something to be thank worthy for like 
God has not done with you. Um, but it says, but I beseech you the rather to do this, that I may be restored to you sooner. Now the God of peace, I love that, that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep. He's talking about the gospel there. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant, which is the new covenant, which is the New Testament, however you want to say it, it is all the same thing. It all means the same thing. Make you perfect. And this is what he does. He makes you perfect in every good work to do his will. And that looks differently in everybody's life. Working in you that which is well, pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever Amen. Then there's the closing words. Um, saluting Timothy and all of that. So, um, but if you back it up to the beginning of 13, chapter 13, this is what I, I read the end of chapter 13, but if you back it up to the beginning of chapter 13, it starts with this. Let brotherly love continue. Now, <laughs> be not forgetful to in entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. We have all done this. There has always been something in your life at one point in time that the Lord sent on assignments and you were unawares, but it was a blessing to you. <laughs> um, but let brotherly love continue. Well, how do you do this? You, it's Jesus. It's Jesus in you from time to time. And he's the one that works on your heart. He is the one that works on your mind. He is the one that works in you, through you, for you to you so that <laughs> you you can look at the person that you're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with from time to time and sometimes that means even changing your whole perspective about that situation or that person you know perhaps you don't know what people are going through I mean, it's big, it's broad, but like I said, anyway, like people deal with mental illness, you know, and that's why it's really important not, not to like judge the outer cup or anything like that. And like, even like that goes back to the dealing with the hard people. Um, it's easy to love the lovable people, but it's super duper hard to love the hard people, but it doesn't have to be. Because you can literally look at that person as the Lord works through you and you, as he shows you and brings it about in you. I've died for that person. I saved that person like I saved you, you know, um, whatever, whatever he's talking to you through, I mean, whatever he's talking to you about in you, he's going to complete it. He's pursuing it. He's doing it now. You know, he's moving. He's always moving. So he's not in a box. He never will be. But just wanted to have a little chat. Happy Thursday.